Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Now today I actually have a little challenge for myself. What challenge you ask? Now I have been getting a lot of comments and DMs saying, Edgem, is an air fryer worth it? Should I buy an air fryer? Which one do you use? Is it worth my money? So I thought, why don't I put it to the ultimate test? I am going to spend 24 hours only eating foods that I prepare using my air fryer and that way we can both decide whether it is worth it. Even on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, I've been seeing people using their air fryer to make all these different and crazy recipes and I just thought to myself, Ejem, you've had your air fryer for how long? And you haven't even done half of these recipes. So we're gonna kick it off with breakfast and what better way than to make baked oats. It's literally all over social media, but we're gonna see if it's gonna work in an air fryer. So let's go. Okay, so my best friend for the day, I will have this link down below because honestly, I love my air fryer. So if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. But in terms of baked oats, I'll be using a recipe by Feel Good Foodie. I will also have a link down below because honestly, it looks so scrumptious. So we're going to go with half a cup of rolled oats. Okay, I can never manage to get this in without spilling. I take that back. Plop. A quarter cup of milk. A tablespoon of maple syrup. A little bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna add a little bit of mashed banana as well because I think we all know I just love banana. That can go in as well. Okay, that doesn't look that satisfying, but. Done that, done that, done that, done that. Okay. Baking powder. Bloop. Shake, shake, shake. And we're ready to go. I actually found this cute little dish to do my baked oats in. I love it. Excited. So I'm just gonna pour that in. I actually think I wanna throw in a couple of walnuts. I'm gonna break them by hand and pop those in. Also gonna go in with some dark chocolate chips. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, how am I gonna do this without burning myself? Time to pop it in. Ooh. So it's been about 15 minutes and baked oats is done. Let's get this out. She is looking gorgeous and golden. We've got a little bit of an overflow over on this side, but that's okay. It's still going to be yummy. So I'm just going to drizzle. Time for a taste test. I'm excited, guys. I'm so excited. This smells divine. I'm so excited. Hold up, I think this tastes way, way, way better than normal. Is it the walnuts or is it because of the air fryer? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mmm, it tastes like cake. Usually when you make baked oats, the inside still tastes like porridge, like it just still tastes like oatmeal. But this actually tastes like cake. Oh my God. Breakfast is tick, tick, yes, yes, everything, beautiful. Mama, come try. She needs to try this. Mama, try, try. Try it. Mm. It's nice, isn't mm. it? Way, way better in the air fryer. So, breakfast is a success. I will see you guys for lunch. <laughs> okay, so for lunch, I've literally just been sitting here looking on TikTok to see what I've been craving to make in the air fryer. And I think I've decided so I saw this one TikTok and they were making French toast and I was like, mmm, I'm really craving that right now. But the thing is, I don't think we have any brioche bread and I feel like French toast is the best with brioche bread. I mean, am I right or am I right? But let's see if it's actually going to work because I'm really curious. Two slices of sourdough. But we also have burger buns. Should I use burger buns? 
Why don't we try and see both? Eggs. Let's go. I actually hate getting eggs on my hands. Dash of milk, dash of vanilla. Let's get some sugar, some cinnamon. Do you think I could mix it like this? I wonder how this bun is gonna turn out. We got buns, huh? I ain't got buns. Sourdough, burger bun. Let's go. What would happen if I never found you? Into the air fryer. Can you hear that? It's crispy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop them onto a plate. Time for the burger buns. So I need some more sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna just clean up everything. Yeah, and get my toppings ready and then we can give the French toast a try. Okay, but how good do these both look? The smell in this house right now is phenomenal. But obviously, at first, Insta. No, but how amazing is this? Done. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this one actually because it's warmer. I don't know if people actually use burger buns. I was, I just, I just don't know why I decided to use it. I feel like because it's soft, it's kind of closer to brioche. Is burger buns brioche? Mm. Oh my goodness. Where have you been my whole life? I don't even need to try this one. The crunch. Mm. That is amazing. I think I could probably eat both of these right now. It is so good. What the heck? Who knew French toast would actually work in an air fryer? Who even came up with that? Look at me munching away on this one. I still need to try this one. I guess there's not really any difference between them, but let's give it a go. What's your favorite topping for French toast? Let me know down below. I cannot lie. I think I prefer this one. I'll be finishing this off for lunch. You're great for whenever you want to get some protein in, but also have them taste absolutely outstanding. Okay, so time for dinner. And I think I've decided to try and make some bean burgers. I haven't done this before. Who doesn't love a nice burger? Mm. Now I'm literally just going to use this kind of mixed beans, it's got white butter beans, it's got red kidney beans, chickpeas, all the types of beans and I'm going to also throw in a little bit of sweet corn because why not and let's see how it's going to turn out but yeah. So here's our mixed beans rinsed and dried, I'm just going to pop them into my food processor. Next I'm going to put a little bit of sweet corn. Not the whole can though, just a little bit. To be honest, I'm just gonna eyeball it here. I think that looks good enough. We don't want mushy burgers. So just pulse it like a couple times and it should be good to go. Time for the seasoning. We've got a little bit of salt, a bit of red chili flakes. Got around a tablespoon of flour. Get a nice mix. Chopped up parsley. And now we can form our patties. And there we have the perfect bean patty. Look at that beauty. Yes, yum. And patty number two. So I'm actually going to now dip my patties into some egg wash and some flour so that it's nice and crispy on the outside like normal burgers. And this just literally has some cayenne pepper and some peri salt in it. It's literally just flour. So egg wash. And 
then into our flour and then back onto our plate fry it with some fry fry it spray it with some fry like just going to pop our burgers in and in it goes Okay, so our burgers and our chips are done. So I popped them out so that I can actually heat up our burger buns because obviously we've still got to use the air fryer. We can't cheat and use something else. I'm literally just gonna pop them in and hope for the best. Time to assemble our burger. P.S. The oven is on for my dad's food because he didn't want any burgers. Burger bun, spicy hummus, some onion. Our bean burger. A little bit of avo, some tomato. Come on guys, the taller the better. Last but not least, we have some lettuce. And dinner is served. I am so excited. We've got the bean burger, we've got some fries, that I literally just chopped up and threw into the air fryer and some hot sauce. Bon appetit. This is probably one of the best burgers I've ever had. That was amazing. Honestly, I think I found one of my favorite recipes from now on. That was so good. And it's devoured. I am still thinking about that burger that I had for dinner because, oh my goodness, I'm not even exaggerating about how good that was. But it's time for dessert now and we are just going to make it up as we go along. Homemade granola. Fill up our little boats. <gasps> You are kidding. Take two, we're going to pop them in. But anyway, I'm gonna leave them in for about five minutes and then they should probably be done and we can serve it with some ice cream. Yeah. Voila. We're gonna do a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of syrup. And last but not least, some ice cream. Time to test. Mm. Let's take it to my lot. Do you like it? Nice? nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to finish off my dessert now. I would actually say Today was a big success. Every single meal that we made, I honestly loved all of them. It all turned out so good. And this guy right here, amazing. Worth it, every single penny. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. If you have anything else you would like me to try, or if you would like me to challenge myself with, let me know down below. I would love to read and see what I can do next. Anyways, back to my dessert. I will see you guys soon in the next video. Mwah.